Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. Points A, C and D lie on a circle with center O. B, A and B, C are the tangents to the circle. Angle A, B, C is given as 32 degree and angle D, A, B is given as 143 degrees. Now this question has four sub questions as we can see over here. So let us begin with the first sub question. Calculate the angle A, O, C in the quadrilateral A, O, C, B. So here we have to find out the angle AOC and since it is mentioned that AOCB is a quadrilateral let me highlight this one. Now we have to make use of a circle theorem here which is radius tangent theorem. Now according to this theorem the radius of a given circle always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. So here we can see that OA is a radius and OC is also a radius and there are two tangents touching these two radii that is BC touches the radius OC at point C and BA touches the radius OA at point A. So here angle OCB is going to be 90 degree according to this theorem. Similarly angle OAB is also going to be 90 degree. And here since AOCB is mentioned as a quadrilateral, the total angle of this quadrilateral has to be 360 degrees. So here now it becomes easy for us to find out the total angle O because angle A is 90, angle C is 90 and angle B is 32. So let me write here. So in the quadrilateral AOCB, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle O is equal to 360 degree. So angle A is 90 plus angle B is 32 plus angle C is 90 plus angle O needs to be found is equal to 360. Now adding 90, 32 and 90 we get 212 plus angle O is equal to 360 degree. So taking 212 on the other side of equal to sign, we have 360 minus 212 which gives us an angle of 148 degrees. So we have found out the value of angle AOC as 148 degrees. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Calculate the angle ADC. That is this is the angle we need to find. That is angle A, D and C. And before we begin solving this, let us understand a circle theorem which is angle at the center theorem. It states that angle at the center of a circle is always twice the angle at the circumference of a circle. You can see that I have drawn a circle here with center O and let us consider there are two points on the circle that is A and B and using these two points we are going to make an angle at the center of the circle that is at O. Now using the same two points we are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point C. Now the theorem states that the angle at the center is always twice the angle at the circumference of the circle. Which means, for example, if this angle at the center is going to be 40 degree, then the angle at the circumference is going to be exactly half of 40, that is 20 degree. Or if we reverse it, the angle at the circumference, if it is 20 degree, then angle at the center is going to be double the angle at the circumference, that is 2 times 20, which gives us 40 degree. So let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here, let us consider the two points on the circle as point A and point C. We can see that these two points are making an angle at the center of the circle at point O and the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point D. Let me highlight it. And in part 1 of this question, we had found out the value of angle AOC as 148 degrees. Now using the angle at the center theorem, if the angle at the center is 148 degree, then the angle at the circumference at point D is going to be exactly half of 148. So it is going to be 74 degrees. So we have found out the value of angle ADC as 74 degrees. Now let us move on to the third sub question. Calculate the angle OCD. That is this small angle OCD we need to find. So for that let us consider the quadrilateral DABC. Now in the previous part of this question that is part 2 we had got the value of angle D that was 74 degree. Now since we have considered DABC as a quadrilateral now all the angles are going to add up to 360 degree. So here we have written angle D plus angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 360 degree. Now substituting the respective values we have 74 plus 143 plus 32 plus angle C this is the total angle we are talking about is equal to 360 degree. Now adding 74 plus 143 plus 32 we get the value as 249 plus angle C is equal to 360. 
Now taking 249 on the other side of equal to sign, we get the value of angle DCB as 360 minus 249, that is 111 degrees. Now once we have got this, we are supposed to find the value of angle OCD, that is this small angle. So for that we are going to make use of the radius tangent theorem again. That is OC is the radius to which the tangent BC is connected. So angle OCB is going to be 90 degree. So out of the total 111 degrees, 90 degrees are given to OCB. So the remaining angle that is 111 minus 90 degrees gives you the angle OCD. So here we have the value of OCD as 111 minus 90 which gives us 21 degrees. So that is the value of the small angle OCD. Now let us move on to the last sub question. OA is given as 6 cm that is this length of the radius is 6. We have to calculate the length of AB. So this is what we need to find out. But before proceeding to find the length of AB, we have to understand a theorem which is 2 tangent theorem. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with centered O and A is acting as an external point to the circle and through this external point two tangents are drawn that is AB and AC. Now according to this theorem, if two tangents are drawn to the circle with a common external point, then the length of the tangents will be same that is AB will be equal to AC that is the first statement and the line that connects the external point to the center of the circle divides the central angle into two equal halves and it also divides the angle at the external point that is between the two tangents into two equal halves. That is angle AOB that is this angle is going to be equal to the angle AOC this angle. So if angle AOB is going to be x degree then angle AOC is also going to be x degree. Similarly the total angle between the two tangents is also going to be divided by the line connecting the center of the circle and the external point. So if angle BAO is going to be y degree, then angle CAO is also going to be y degree. So now let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here B is acting as an external point through which two tangents are drawn that is BA and BC. And we can see there is a line connecting the center of the circle to the external point. Which means by using the two tangent theorem, the angle between the two tangents gets divided into two equal halves. So angle ABO becomes 32 divided by 2 that is 16 degree and same thing happens to the angle CBO. This also becomes 16 degree. Now once we have done this, we also know by the radius tangent theorem that the radius makes 90 degree angle with the tangent. So here OA is the radius and AB is the tangent. So angle OAB is going to be 90 degree. Now if we look at this, OAB acts as a right angled triangle. So let me redraw this for easy reference over here. So OAB is redrawn. OA was given as 6 cm so we have written here. And angle ABO that is this angle is 16 degree. And angle OBA is 90 degree. Now since we have to find the length of AB, we can make use of trigonometric ratios. So here 16 degree is acting as angle of concern. So the side opposite to that is OA. So we will consider this as opposite side. And opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining side becomes default the adjacent side. Since the value of hypotenuse is not given and the value of adjacent side needs to be found. So we are going to make use of the tan trigonometric ratio which is given as tan of 16 degree is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Now opposite to 16 degree is 6 cm so we have written here 6 over the adjacent side is AB. Now here cross multiplying the value of AB with tan 16 we get AB is equal to 6 over tan 16 and this will give us a value of 20.9 cm. So the length of AB is 20.9. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you found this video useful then you can click on this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.